Hey all, uh, this is Michael here. So today, what we, uh, this video will basically um, go through with you guys the step-by-step -step guide on how you actually flash the uh, stock factory image for the Google Nexus 7 2012. So um, this is one of the first generation tablet by Google itself. Um, it has lots of issues. Of course, if you are collecting Nexus devices like myself, you would like them to be back into fa stock factory settings or stock firmware. So this video will basically show you how to actually flash the Nexus 7 to 2012 back to the stock factory settings. But bear in mind, the stock ROM isn't the best available ROM for this. In another video, if you actually look at it, uh, I will be showing you guys how to flash the best ROM available for Nexus 7 2012 and that is how you revive back this old tablet to a usable state. Okay, without further ado, let's let's proceed. Let us proceed to um, do the flash and restore back to factory settings. Of course, before we start, first of all, we will basically need to make sure that we have a uh, USB debugging enabled. So as you can see, if you don't have that, you can actually tap on the build number. Right, if you already have that, then you can just set the develop options and just USB debugging turn on. And then we'll move on to the PC for the rest of the setup. Okay, so before we start the process of flashing the Nexus 7 2012 back to the stock factory image, uh, we will first need to make sure that we have uh, ADB and Fastboot installed. We will need that for this store to work. And the next thing you want to do is to plug in your tablet to the computer itself. Okay, as usual, we would need to make sure that we have ADB installed. Um, I'll leave a link down below where you can actually download the minimal ADB and fastboot, the one with which I've been using and I find it very easy to use. And so the next step you need to do is to connect your tablet, the Nexus 7 2012, to the computer. Once you have done that, you can do an ADB devices. As you can see now, the device is connected. So once the device is connected, you can actually reboot the uh, tablet into fast boot mode. So what you can do now is do ADB reboot, boot loader. This will boot your tablet into fast boot mode. So you can see now your tablet is uh, rebooting for the first time. So this will this process might take a while. So you just need to wait out the entire booting process to go into the setup screen. Okay. So once you have done with the setup, so you uh, with the boot up, you can just do a setup as per normal. Um, this one you can actually just gain. Let me gain the Wi-Fi password. Okay. You can just keep this. And frankly, the stock ROM doesn't run very well on this uh, on this Nexus 7 2012 itself. So logically, I mean, this is a good way for you to go back to stock. But if you're asking me, I mean, it still runs fine. But if you're asking me, the best ROM to be used, as I've tried before, would be the uh, AOSB ROM, which I'm going to show you guys. Uh, later the most sta the stable the most stable ROM that is available so if you take a look at it so this is your details now they are running on Android version 5.1.1 that's the latest version available for this device itself I mean you can actually do this um, and just download the FS trim itself to do a regular trim for this one because now it might run fine but after a while it will actually slow down which is um, <laughs> Which I personally feel that is pretty bad in terms of the stock images itself. So for this tablet itself, what I use is actually a um, a custom ROM. And please refer to the video 
that I have for that uh, to actually bring your and revive your or should I say resurrect your Nexus 7 2012 so to be useful in 2017 so that's all for the video today I hope you like it so please give it a thumbs up if you like it and if you do have any questions just leave a comments down below I'll try my best to answer them and hope to see you again soon bye